Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is in your traveling history and if you're new here please consider to subscribe because today we have a very special thing to talk about. Initiation. What is initiation? It's a rite of passage from becoming a boy to becoming a man. And today I want us to focus about the Bukusu, how initiation is done among the Bukusu people of Kenya. A Bukusu is a sub-tribe in the Luya community, who the Luya who are a Bantu-speaking community. And I want us to see on how they do their initiation, that is the circumcision process of young boys transitioning to be men. So, among the many African rites of passage, male circumcision remains one of the most important and outstanding because of the vital elements associated with it. Maybe something like health, religion, and education. So, the young initiates are smeared with mud all over their body to differentiate them from other people in the society or the people who have joined the ceremony of the circumcision. So, the process takes maybe a whole week or a whole day that includes dancing and going all around the community from one homestead to another homestead asking for gifts, things like maize, money, goats and stuff like that. And this is a ceremony that is enjoyed by, by each and every person in the society, may it be the kids, the grown-ups, the teens, the women, the girls, and everybody is invited to witness the initiation process. So, as you can see, the young initiates are going around singing, dancing, to call each and every one, each and every member of that community to come out and celebrate with these young initiates. So, the musical instruments are coached in figurative language. These items portray men and women differently and are necessarily necessity realized at linguistic level. Because of the composition songs include the use of symbols, metaphors, and irony. During the month of initiation, that is August, Bakhebi Balusanya or Lukembe knives, that is the, the name of the knife that is going to be used during the circumcisions in Bukusu were anointed by the elders of the tribe to link the initiators with the ancestors. To be an initiator, one has to belong to the family of initiators and has to undergo traditional cut he himself. So something very interesting I found is that during the during the initiation period the initiators has to avoid having sex for it's believed he won't perform the initiation appropriately there's something that was like oh god this has blown my mind and also something else the people who are supposed to blew the busa or the traditional drink among the bukusu people also they were not supposed to have sex there's something that blew up my mind i don't know the reason that's why and i'm still trying to figure out why they will not have to especially the busa people 
who are brewing themselves are not some supposed to have sex or something now i'm still trying to figure out and see the reason behind that so if you know the reason behind that please go down to my comment section and tell me what do you think about that some leech was like a slaughtering of the white chicken a wanga to signify blessing and show the event was not held in secrecy this is something that was supposed to be done by specific people chosen by the elders of the community to perform and to show that the initiation process or the circumcision process was not undergo or was not taken into secrecy so these people have been very specific during the initiation period after the circumcision the knives are kept carefully and a goat is slaughtered and busa prepared to bless the knives and bury them in secrecy oh okay if there was a case of twins circumcised very early in the morning that is between 4 a.m and 5 a.m as is believed if they were circumcised during the day they it would be dangerous and they would be perceived as weak so after dancing collecting money and calling all members of the society to come and celebrate with these young initiates the initiates goes to the uncle to ask for the blessings and as you can see here the uncle is smearing mud on the face of the young initiate to give him blessings and intimidate him a little bit to see if the young inshit or the young boy has the courage to undergo the cut or the initiation
Bara uha bata kwanza. Sawa sawa. Ya <laughs>
So the dancing continues till dusk when the circumcision or the initiation process is going to undergo as the members of the community try to gather some presents, gifts and everything like that to give to the young in shit so that he can have a good time during the healing process or to sympathize with the young in shit. Not until evening when the busa or the busa is prepared and a goat is slaughtered to bless the initiation. So an elder person of the society is given the mandate to inspect or study the intestines of the goat and see if there is something bad that is going to happen during the initiation process if there is nothing that's going to happen during the initiation process the intestines are cut uh, horizontally and uh, the waste product from the intestines is smeared 
on the faces of the body of the young insects to bless them and to give them the go ahead to the initiation or the circumcision so guys enjoy the video and continue supporting my great work so enjoy the video up to the last decimal point and see how this bukusu thing is done <laughs>